Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Canadian border where a sovereign citizen fancies himself a lawyer. Well, at the very least, a legal expert. But come to find out, well, this soft heart doesn't know jack shit about anything at all. Which leads to his arrest because he refuses to declare anything in his vehicle. Which is what you're supposed to be doing at the Canadian border, you moron. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. By pulling me over. Need to make a truthful declaration. What? What I is that truthful declaration? I just want to verify. Well, well, dude, they are asking for a truthful declaration of what you have in your car, just in case you're carrying in around any invasive species in any of your food or anything like that. Because, well, they don't need that in Canada or any other country for that matter. You smooth brain, soft hard, so. Yeah, get with the program, dipshit. Fire declaration. And I told you hey, already. Napoli, can I get your hand, man? I told you already. I charge $25,000 an hour for you to detain me. My passport says you're not supposed to detain me. Okay. Oh, you charge $25,000 an hour for detainment. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> What's going on? He's asking me where I'm, I'm coming from. I said Webster. Okay. He's asking I, where's Webster. I said in the U.S. What else can I tell you? I now he's going to spite me, giving me this yellow card. So Deta you're detaining me. So I said, I, I, and everything. I, so I, you're detaining me. You're, I'm my time is going. You. I'm marking this my time because I sue sir. for less than this. I just want to send him in for a time. Sending me what? I told you I don't have anything already. And that's your problem right there. You said you didn't have anything in your vehicle when you cross over the canadian border you've got to declare what you have just in case there might be something like what i said before an invasive species in your vehicle so saying you have nothing in your vehicle is well well playing with fire in this case and you're about to get burned for that so let's carry on uh, Why are you sending me? No, I'm I'm videotaping the incident because I need to sue you guys okay. for detaining people. I was going over the stage. The guy been asking okay. one question. Well, he's not detaining Have a good, you. good day. He's not detaining you. You're being referred down to. Your yes. Why am I being detained. referred? Why? Because I want to. Why? Because we want to verify. Your verify what? I told you we what I didn't have. No, you're search. not going to search this you, car. Yes, we are going to search. No, you're not going to search my car. If you search my car, I do not. I do not agree. Oh, you don't consent. But you do realize you're going into Canada, right? And Canada does have a customs act, you dipshit. And yes, I know you're going to say an act and a statute and codes are not laws. But yes, they are. According to Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition, yes, they are laws. They are written up by a legislature, you freaking moron. So uh, get your act together, dude. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be playing this stupid game for a long time and finding yourself on the losing end of a court battle. You hear me? If you touch this car, you're going to be sued. Okay. Your name is uh, Lock, Lock what? Can you Don't move that stuff? Can you get... The, can you move your thing? Yeah, he's, done, my thing. he's done nothing yeah, wrong, sir. I don't care. Yeah, it's both of the whole border is, is not breathing right. Oh, I'm going to be you suing you guys because oh, you're holding me up, even though oh, I told you that what I have, it's and you're not allowed to touch my car. You're not allowed to touch my car. We can search your car. You, you cannot search, search my car without a, a warrant. Yes, you, you cannot can. search my I car can. without a warrant. Based on the ind indicators you're giving, sir. No indicators. You cannot touch my car yes, without a warrant. Can. Okay? That's you want to touch my car? Part, I'm going to be suing that's you. That's part of the can daily routine. No, no. That's that's an act and a code. You're not supposed to touch my car without a proper sir, warrant from a judge. Are you? What's your articulable suspicion? Well, my smooth brain, soft tart friend, the RAS is the fact that you don't want to declare anything in your vehicles so yeah and according to canadian law if you don't declare anything when you're crossing the border over to their country they can detain you and they can arrest you and they can search your vehicle 
according to the Customs Act. So why don't you try doing more research instead of listening to some dumbass uh, soft hard guru and uh, well, maybe you wouldn't be so effed up in the head. You're not being detained. What's your article suspicion for wanting to invade my privacy? This is my private motor vehicle. It's section 139, yes. You section, you, you, I, oh, is it law or is it yes, code and statutes? Yes, it's Ur it's Urpa. It, it is. What's it that? Is law. It's, it's Urpa. No, it's not co yes, it's it codes is. and statutes. No. It's Sir, okay. make sure you know okay. anybody right enter my car without a valid warrant from a judge will n will be sued. Whatever you say, sir. Okay, great. We're gonna get a superintendent out here. Yes, to please talk. get him okay. to come because you have no right to search my car without a valuable warrant. Okay, I just want to send him in for a ten eighty one. Uh, okay. And he's just he's saying he's being detained. He's videotaping us. He's not yes, you're not enough. supposed to be detaining me. I told you we're what I have and what I need to have. You're detaining me. No, we're not. Do you read the passport? What it says? I should not be held up. I did. To I told you already what I have. You asked me you what I bought. So your vehicle is what we. Verify your goods. Your what are you, uh, sir? Without a warrant, you cannot touch this vehicle. That's not it's true. a lawsuit. You cannot touch my private motor vehicle. Yes, it's sir. a lawsuit right up there. No. You cannot touch my vehicle no, without a warrant. Without a warrant, you cannot touch my vehicle. We're not police. We're customs. Exa it doesn't matter what you are. Nobody t get to get into my vehicle without a valuable warrant from a judge okay, with a ray seal. And, and a, a article of suspicion of what you think you were looking for. I told you already I bought some panties for my wife As a matter and of fact, socks. Sir, are you aware that you're going to be arrested for hindering under the Customs Act? Oh, you really? Oh, really? Yeah. You, you want to arrest me for what? For hindering under the Customs Act. Hindering? Yeah. Is there a crime named hindering? Yeah. Uh, yes. Under Section 153.1, .1, no person shall physically or otherwise do or attempt to do any of the following. Interfere or molest an officer doing anything that the officer is authorized to do under this act. Or hinder or prevent an officer from doing anything that the officer is authorized to do under this act. So yeah, the, I would say there's a uh, section that says that you are hindering. So yeah. This is something you need to do. This is something all you softards need to do. Actually go out and uh, look these things up and do your research properly. Because, man, you're all a bunch of freaking failures at that. Where's the crime? No, that's a code. That's a statue. I do law. You, exactly. Act. It's an act. It's an act. It's acting. It's role playing. Yeah, it's role playing. And I'm not selling them out of my vehicle. You have no reasonable suspicion. You have not uh, indicated a crime. Are you suspicious of a crime? We have to verify your declaration. That's what's happening. You cannot go in my vehicle without, uh, without, without me giving you the permission. And I do not consent. I do not consent. And I will not consent to come out of my vehicle. You don't have to consent. Well, I'll be suing you if you take me out of my vehicle. Are you giving me an order? Yes. You're giving me an order to go. Okay, you're giving me an order. What's your name? Stone. That's what stone? stone? What's your badge number? 21096. 21096. And, and is that an order? It is an order. You're an order. Okay. I just want to know. Yes. Okay, fine. You're giving me an order. You're giving me an order. That's all I need on the record. Yeah. Can I move out my vehicle? Come on, step out of the vehicle right now. What's that? What are you going to be doing? We're going to be searching your vehicle. We're going to be Why? verifying your declaration today. So you can go ahead and verify. No, come on, step out. No, I'm not stepping out of my vehicle. In here What's that? What's that? Nobody searches a vehicle with you in it, sir. I do not want you to search my vehicle. I do not consent for you to search my vehicle. Oh, really? So we have no right? Why don't you put your vehicle in park before you hurt somebody? I, it's already in park. Okay, why don't you go ahead and take the keys out before you hurt somebody? I'm not hurting anybody. Okay, come on, it's in park. Why are you taking me out of my vehicle? Because we're going to search it. Why? No, you're not letting us Please tell me why. Okay. Articulable so, suspicion. Are you suspecting me of committing a crime? This is your last chance, sir. Huh? Okay. I am asking you if you're suspecting me of committing a crime. You have to uh, articulate. We're verifying your declaration is what's happening. What declaration? Okay, 
Okay. I have panties and, and stuff in this the, the vehicle. I want why Is now the vehicle? Is there medical reason that you can't step out of the vehicle? Yes. What there is, is. What is it? I don't have to tell you. Okay. I have my reasons. Is there anything mm -hmm. that I can reasonably say or do mm -hmm. to get you to step out of the vehicle right now, sir? What's that? Is there anything that I can reasonably say or do to get you to I step am not out answering any more of your questions because you have not articulate a, a suspicion. Well, uh, if you are, if you are, have reasonable suspicion. And so now you're under arrest for hindering. Under okay, arrest okay, arrest. okay. okay. Do it right so now. do you? Do it right now, put the phone down. Step I am not stepping out of my vehicle. You gotta pull me out, and you will be, you will be, you will be sued. You will be sued. Here's what's gonna happen. Sir. Yes. I'm gonna rip you out of this vehicle. Oh, okay, to you're gonna rip me out of the vehicle. Well, now stupid is as stupid does, and well. These softards are just getting dumber and dumber all the damn time. I mean, if he would have taken the time to even do some research into the Canadian customs law, then, well, he wouldn't have uh, messed up so badly here. But, you know, these sovereign citizens just don't have that kind of intelligence. They don't do their research. They don't do any of that kind of stuff. All they do is get spoon-fed a bunch of bullshit by uh, con men who pose as sovereign citizen gurus and, uh, well, fleece them for every damn penny they have. But maybe one day this idiot will wake up and realize, hey, I need to do some, well, soul searching and see if this life is really for me. Well, if he actually does do that, maybe he'll get somewhere in life. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?